I am Dr. Dibendu De. I am a consultant hematologist as well as hemato oncologist and bone marrow transplant specialist. I am attached at the Mission Hospital, Durgapur, West Bengal. I have done my DM clinical hematology from the Institute of Hematology and Transplant Medicine at Calcutta and have done my uh, bone marrow transplant fellowship from the CMC Fellow. So, uh, hematology actually contains both the benign and the, as well as the malignant hematology. On the benign part, we are having a comprehensive thalassemia control program where we are treating out more than 90 patients of thalassemia who are receiving regular blood transfusions as well as we are treating the aplastic anemia, myelodysplastic syndromes, hemolytic anemias and all other types of bleeding disorders including ITP and thalassemia. On the malignant front, we are actually treating all types of hematological malignancy including acute leukemias, the lymphoma, the myeloma. So, you know, the blood cancer, always we think and we give them become afraid of. But a blood cancer, when you really think of blood cancer, a patient actually may have some pale, paleness in his body, may have a shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing, difficulty on, in walking or walking fast. Patient may have excessive bleeding from different sites like gum bleeding, bleeding from nose, uh, heavy menstrual bleeding in female, uh, patechial spots or lady spots over the skin or patients may have some glandular swelling like a uh, uh, swelling over the necks, over the underarms, in the groin region or maybe an abdominal distensions that may give a clue that patients may be having some blood cancers. Sometimes patients develop severe weight loss within 2-3 to three months along with fever, prolonged fever not responding to therapy. And some of the cases like in case of some chronic leukemias, patients may not have any symptoms but a routine blood test gives some blood abnormality and that time you should rush to the hematologist for the proper diagnosis because sometimes it may remain silent. Also, uh, blood cancer when you think the diagnosis requires a specific test that is a bone marrow test. It is a very simple test, outdoor procedures, no need for admission, no need for any surgery or any operations, no need for any general anesthesia. It is a single, uh, single needle inc incision and we take a marrow component. From that marrow, not only we look into the pathological aspect, but also we do the flow cytometry, the molecular test, the PCR, the uh, cytogenetics and all other types of tests from the single marrow procedure and with that we can diagnose as well as prognosticate and uh, staging of the le leukemia or the blood cancers can be done from the single test. Sometimes we need to go for a lymph node biopsy also as well as CT scan MRI may help us in pinpointing the diagnosis. Coming to the treatment of the blood cancer, at present blood cancer can be treated in almost all of the patients and around 70 to 80 percent cure rate is there. In case of a children, the cure rate is higher than in the adults and also in case of children, a complete cure rate and recovery from the type of blood cancer for life can be done. And most of the time the treatment is by chemotherapy only, there is no need to go for any surgery for blood cancer. So only a chemotherapy with the uh, drugs are given through saline, through your vein and that can be done in through the daycare as well as in the isolation ward. At the Mission Hospital, we are now having the daycare as well as having the isolation ward for the chemotherapy procedures. Also, sometimes we use a targeted therapy or immunotherapy which is not even a chemotherapy where the drugs actually attacks only the cancer cells not even attacking the other normal cells thereby reducing the side effects to a large extent so thereby very with very limited side effects we can continue with the chemotherapy but it is a prolonged therapy around six to eight cycles of chemotherapy needs to be completed so first of all i would say that don't be afraid, a hematology of blood cancer is curable now and the cure rate is more than 80%. In children, it is again curable and complete cure can be ascertained. Two simple tests can give the uh, diagnosis of the blood cancer by peripheral blood examination as well as by bone marrow. And all the facilities are available nowadays in the mission hospital. And the therapy requires only chemotherapy as well as sometimes bone marrow transplantations. 
and the chemotherapy, target therapy, immunotherapy, everything is available nowadays in mission hospitals and we can give a complete cure to the blood cancer patients. Thank you.